it's me, Pluto, and I just, I wanted to come by to remember you that there's some special sky news for tonight. It's the last full moon of the year. The, the, this moon, it's going to climb to the crest of its full phase on December 30th, 2020 at 328 UTC, which means Universal Time Coordinated. But, but by some of you oldies, you might remember that we used to call it just the Greenwich Mean Time. So, 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 so that means this special howler moon, it will be at the brightest in the up overlands tonight at 1030 or 2230 Eastern Standard Time. I, I, I know some of you are having happy holidays still, so don't worry. It will be simulcasting in the GNT time zone as well, because the time zones, they're bendy things just to accommodate the howling. <laughs> anyway, 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 the December moon, it's called the cold moon or the long night moon in the northern lands. But in the southern lands, it's called the strawberry moon or the fruit moon because it's summertime. This, this moon, it's the first full moon after the solsticing, okay? Both, both the winter or the summer, depending on your lands. And the full moon names, they usually follow the seasons. But, 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 but we're six months out of sync in the up and down lands. So that's why, that's why the names are so different. So, so, so most of the two-leggeds, they believe that the full moon on December 12th of 2019 was the last full moon of the decade. But, but there's some purist two-leggeds who are insisting, because, you know, the two-leggeds, they like to insist, that the full moon on December 30th, 2020, that that one counts as the last full moon of the decade, and that the year 2020 is the real end to the second decade of the 21st century. I mean, I, I, I don't really have an opinion because I'm a dog and I just like to howl, but I, mu I must say this is an Excellent argument starter, so so I, I may have to pass it along to my Uncle Glenn. Astronomically speaking, w which means relating to the astronomies, which is not the same as the astrologies, but, but because they both have the astral word pertaining to stars and celestial stuff outside the Earth's atmosphere, some, sometimes people, they get, the two, they get the two confused. So astronomy speaking for the sciencers, the moon, it turns full at the exact instant that it is 180 degrees opposite the sun in ecliptic longitude. Longitudes are the, they're the angular distances of a place and are usually expressed in degrees and minutes. So in other words, or, or, or maybe you won't use any of these words at all, during the full moon, the elongation between the moon and the sun equals 180 degrees. Ha! Who knew? I can assure you, not mum. So, 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 so please note that if you are howling in the GNT time zone, do not try to apply the ecliptic longitudes to measure the angular distance from your glass to your mouth. <laughs> I just made that up. So if you like the astrologies and the star sign language, the cold moon, it, 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 it's happening in the tender and lovey-dovey cancer, which that sign, it's actually ruled by the moon. So, so, so there's going to be some heightened emotions bubbling around this moon. And so it's a good time to think about your self-cares and to tune into your heart songs. So you, you could feel some super lunar magic happening this time. So come on, everybody. If there was ever a moon to howl at, it's this last moon of this very long year. So you could totally lift your spirits if you just take some moments to tilt your head back and howl up at that big, beautiful light in the sky.